Welcome to Dynamics GP 2013. In this video, we're going to look at prepayments for purchase orders. From the GP homepage, we'll move down to the Purchasing Center page and then create a standard purchase order. The process of creating the purchase order is very normal. The addition will be in the creation of the prepayment associated with it. In this case, we're going to order two items from the attractive telephone company, 25 units of their Series 1000 answering machine delivered to our warehouse, and 50 units of their Series 2000 answering machine also delivered to the main warehouse. Next, we'll indicate that we're going to be issuing a prepayment to go along with this purchase order. Enter the amount of the required prepayment, and in this case, we'll indicate that we're going to be paying by company credit card. Next, we'll print the purchase order so that it's released and available to be fulfilled. Here you can see the details of the purchase order, two line items, both being delivered to our main warehouse. When we close the purchase entry window, we get our posting journals for the manual payment, indicating that the payment was attached to a specific purchase order, and indicating the amount and type of payment that has been recorded. We also get a general ledger posting journal reflecting the change in the balance sheet, indicating that there is now a prepayment issued. The next step in the process is to record the receipt of the purchase order. In this case, we'll record a shipment along with invoice, so we include the vendor's invoice number, the vendor ID, and we'll use the auto invoice functionality of GP to bring up the details of the purchase order. Indicate that both lines were fulfilled in full. You'll notice now at the bottom of the receipt that our prepayment has moved forward from the purchase order and reduces the amount still owed to the vendor. This transaction is also posted to update the quantity on hand. There is still a balance due any normal payment cycle will issue that payment. The posting journal reflects the items received. If we now drill back on the inquiry for the vendor, we'll enter attractive telephone, indicate we want to see only the open transactions, resplay, and scroll down to the bottom, find our receipt, and pull up the details. Again, you'll see the prepayment amount has been tracked with this purchase order and its receipt. And using the blue expansion arrow, we can drill back on the details associated with that prepayment. The apply button would also indicate that the prepayment has been applied to our original purchase order. With GP 2013 and the ability to process prepayments with purchase orders, we can now more accurately follow the standard practice for companies importing. Thank you very much.